Masters. This is Justin Branham for MasterFiddle.com and once again it's time for another tune a week lesson where we learn a new tune each week for 2022 and we're learning all kinds of different types of tunes. This one is coming at us more from the old time world and it's called the Squirrel Hunters in the key of A or actually kind of in the key of D. It's more of a modal tune so we're getting a little modal tune in. We're going to learn the basic melody in this lesson and then in the second lesson, I've got more of an ornamented version that has some little variations, nothing too crazy. So last week we got into more advanced territory because we had the tune pole lesson and you all picked I Don't Love Nobody, which really worked better as an intermediate to advanced level tune. Well, this one's going to be good for you more beginner to intermediate players and even the ornamented version is something that you can tackle. So this tune is definitely a standard in old time fiddle circles, probably throughout the United States and bluegrass as well. Um, it came into popularity from John Hartford who recorded a series of old time fiddle albums in the 90s that were really, really great. I urge you to go search those up and, and listen to them. Uh, I think Wild Hog and the Red Brush is the one that this is on. But there's, there's three others, or two others I should say. I can't think of their names right now, but just go look up John Hartford and listen to his old time fiddle albums. Really good, really cool tunes and good playing. And he kind of set a, uh, I think in, in my opinion, he sort of set a certain style that people who play old time fiddle now kind of adhere to that is uh, sort of, we'll call it pan stylistic. <laughs> Use some of them big words there. Um, but anyway, uh, worth checking out. That's kind of where the tune came. He, he found it. I think it was, was, uh, written in sheet music by a tune collector and he found it and started playing it and was like hey this is a great tune and and it is and so the popularity of it has just increased since then and it's been recorded by different people but uh, it's definitely a good one to know for those situations works great in a bluegrass band too and I could even hear it being worked up to play in a contest if you wanted to go more that route with it I haven't done that with it in this lesson but you could certainly do that so what we're going to do is learn the basic melody and we're going to learn a ornamented version and I'm trying to stick more in the old time kind of and bluegrass world with that version. So let's get right into it. Here is the first phrase of the A part on Squirrel Hunters. <laughs> cut that up into two phrases, two shorter phrases. So what we're going to learn right now is this. Okay, and um, just a little bit of information on what's going on here from a theory standpoint. We're really, it sounds like we're in the key of A because we're hitting a lot of A notes and E notes, but we're really in the key of D. And if you know anything about chords, you, you might have heard that it starts on an A chord and it goes to a G chord, and but we end on a D chord. And it sounds a little odd because it sounds like it should end on an A chord. And th that means this is a modal tune. So we're kind of in the key of D. And when we play over A and G, we're, we're playing out of a mode of the D major scale. I won't get too far into what that means. But it just means that we're not using the notes from the key of A. Instead of having a G sharp, we're having a G natural, which is a low tune on your E string. And uh, if we get over to the D string, we would have a... G natural there, so a low, uh, a regular third finger right next to your second finger on the D string. Um, so an A scale with a G natural is what we're playing most of the time. Okay, so open E, down bow, third finger on the A string, a D note, and then first finger B. Those are all down, up, down. And then we're going to do a two note slur here, first finger on the A string, a B note to third finger D, okay, so that was, then open E, down bow, first finger E string, an F sharp note, open E, third finger D on the A string, first finger B, so it was just back and forth, that's the whole phrase, so we just did, okay, let's put that together, one, two, three, four. And I forgot to mention this earlier, but if you're on masterfiddle.com and you're a subscriber, if you look directly below the video player, you can download the sheet music and audio files that go with this lesson. Those are in the resources tab and there's audio practice tracks, just the rhythm track or rhythm, um, rhythm track with fiddle and also slow down to half speed for both of those and the sheet music and tablature. You can also slow me down if I'm going too fast and the video player just hit the gear shift button and that'll slow, give you options to slow me down. So 
Next phrase sounds like this. 